committee welcomes the action plan put forward by the Cabinet to tackle these issues, which incorporates the recommendations made by the author of the report. It further welcomes the fact that the Council has formally apologised to Mr Martin Morton and that there is an ongoing review into the Council's whistleblowing blowing and bullying and harassment policies. The committee recognises that the Chief Executive has already asked the Director of Adult Social Services, supported by the Head of Safeguard, to urgently review the final report for any further safeguarding issues that need to be addressed, and that Cabinet has already asked them to consider whether any historic safeguarding failures should be referred to the police or any other regulatory body. Committee, <laughs> committee therefore asks the Director of Adult Social Services to provide a verbal report to the Committee on these issues at this point, followed by a written report to a subsequent the committee notes that a series of measures have already been taken to strengthen safeguarding and seeks reassurance from the director that these measures will be sufficient to ensure that the serious failures detailed in the AKM report cannot be repeated in the future. The committee welcomes the setting up of an improvement board with an independent chair, three party membership and members from the LGA, an external chief executive, Ms. Kolarski and the district oversee improvements and the implementation of best practice in the council and to monitor the implementation of the action plan on the AKA report. The committee further notes the work that has been done by the Air Quality Commission on improvements within adult social services and the peer evaluation which demonstrates that good progress is being made in adult social services. The committee believes that vital lessons have to be learned from mistakes that have been made in the past but believes that it is important to move forward at this point with a new director and for members of all parties to work together with officers and other agencies on Wirral to create the best possible adult social services in Wirral.
this is not going to go away. And I'm going to make sure it doesn't go away until I get the answers that I've been seeking for four years. Now we're getting to a point, perhaps, where the answers will start to come out. Because it will go to a public investigation of some sort. It will. So don't, let's not try and sweep it under the carpet, because that's what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to sweep anything under well, the carpet. Nobody is. I'm, you I'm, are trying I'm to sweep it under the carpet by saying, be, let's move I'd on. I would be very grateful if nobody here tonight reduces this to the level of personal motive. Well, so I'm please, sorry. Please don't do Perhaps you could tell me who is your With regard to the issue of naming names, I'd be grateful if the uh, director of the law could respond to that. Okay, well, perhaps you could you help me out with who issued the statement, who put together the statement. If, if it was yourself as chairman, then I accept that, and but you must stand up clearly and say that it was you that put it together. If it wasn't yourself, then I'd just like to know how close you did put the statement. 